What you just heard was one of the masterpieces of Johann Sebastian Bach. Uh, in, in many ways, it's my favorite of, of the suites. I played for you the prelude of suite number two in D minor. Um, why I like it so much is it kind of epitomizes the sound of the cello. Um, it played a lot in this area of the cello, which is the neck and kind of the speaking tones of the instrument. It also reminds me, uh, back in the day in 1717 when he wrote these pieces, that this fingerboard right here ended right there. So when you look at this cello in particular, which is a Matteo Gofriller built in 1693, uh, you see a rosette carved here. And that was to be shown in 1693. The evolution of the cello had not really begun. Uh, this cello was made as a church bass. Um, so the low tones were what it, it showcased. Uh, and so when Bach wrote these pieces, the cello, the, the world was flat. It ended right here, and no one knew that it was capable of going that much higher. So I, again, I'm reminded of that when I play this suite. It's very improvisatory. It begs the uh, argument, was Bach a great composer or was he the ultimate improviser? So um, I love it. It feels, every time I play it, it feels like I'm, I'm making it up, but in the world of Bach. Um, and I remind myself of that as I'm playing it, to, to be free and to just explore the sounds of what a cello is capable of, which is what he was doing in 1717. What you're going to hear next is, uh, or actually are my favorite movements of all the Bach cellos, which, is, which are the sarabans, the Spanish dances. Um, why I love them so much is because it, it also begs the argument that uh, Bach was an ultimate romantic. Um, they are so soothing and um, there's so much exploration of sound and emotion in those pieces. Um, also, in my research, I found that um, these pieces were kind of deemed illegal during Bach's lifetime because they were too slow and they didn't allow people, or they, they allowed people to get too close in a, in a dance format. So um, I try to always remind myself when I'm playing them to keep the movement going, uh, but to also kind of test that line of, of being appropriate. Um, and they are, they are very meaningful to me, the Sarabon. So this is Sarabon number two in D minor. <laughs>
And finally, uh, a, a terrific bookend to a Bach cello suite. In the Bach cello suite, you've got a, a prelude, which is the only non-dance movement. And then you've got the Alamon, which is uh, a German dance, and then the Courant, and then the Sarabande, and in this case, you've got the minuets. Uh, it ends with a, an Irish jig, a, a, a jig. And um, in many ways, it's a, a perfect ender because um, it's jaunty, uh, it's got great energy to it, and um, creates kind of a, a, a wonderful excitement and such a wonderful masterpiece as the Bach cello suites are. <laughs> Thank you. 